This is a brass hammer that I made. This is a brass hammer made by Dima Gamayunov. And this is a brass hammer head kit sold by Penn State Industries. I turned the handle out of olive wood to complete the kit. Here's how I made it. The first thing you need, aside from the hammerhead kit, is a wood blank of your choice measuring one and a half to two inches square and at least five inches long. Mark the center of the blank on each end and drill a half inch hole about two and a half to two and three quarter inches deep in one end. You can do this at a drill press or the lathe with a scroll chuck and a bit in the Jacobs chuck in the tailstock. Then mount the blank between centers on your lathe and shape the handle. I turned the blank round with a roughing gouge and then some small cracks were revealed, so I filled them with black Starbond CA glue. This CA glue is great for filling small cracks and turnings and the black will blend in with the grain in this olive wood. I turned the business end down to a 3 quarter inch diameter. I like to keep a few thousandths bigger to allow for sanding. Then I started shaping the handle with a combination of gouges and carbide scrapers. I like a short handle with a curved taper and a rounded end. This shape feels natural in the hand and you can choke up close to the hammerhead for delicate work or hold it lower on the handle for a bit more power when chopping. To finish the end of the handle, I put the Jacobs chuck in the headstock with a half inch bit in the handle and turn the waist off with a gouge. Please subscribe to my channel and click the bell notification so you're sure to catch my videos. Olive wood sands wonderfully smooth with a sanding pad up to 400 grit and then a little tongue oil finish adds some sheen and extra protection against staining over time. I removed the handle from the drill bit and mixed some epoxy to secure the handle into the head via the threaded rod. I pour a little epoxy into the hole, screw the rod into the brass head brush some epoxy onto the threads of the rod, and press the two parts together. Be sure to wipe away any epoxy that may squeeze out. So there you have it. The new Penn State Industries brass hammer kit finished with an olive wood handle. I like the feel of this hammer, particularly for the grooves in the head. They make great finger rests so you have really great control while using the hammer. It'll make a great addition to the other two hammers I have, and at $12.95 plus shipping, it makes a great project and very functional tool. Thanks for watching.